boys and girls, it's Colin back again for Assembly. Today we're going to visit a town in Northern Ireland beginning with B and it's Bala Money. And we're going to learn something about Bala Money. Before that, let's sing the song Ba Ba. <laughs> Let's go to see what's happening. Today we are in the outskirts of the town called Balamani. Balamani is, uh, if you're traveling to the north coast, on the way from between Balamina and Coleraine, you come to Balamani. On your way up to Port Royce, Port Stewart, the north coast, as part of the North Antrim Glens. Um, quite often you'd bypass Balamani, you'd have to go into the town. A very, uh, not a big town, like a big country town, not large compared to a city, it's a nice town. Lots of schools, lots of shop, local shopping, lots of people would work and live in the area. Whenever you read about Balamani, it's got one of the li highest life expectancies with in Northern Ireland. Um, men maybe live in the average of 78 and women up to age 83. Maybe it's a country air, maybe it's a fresh air, maybe it's away from the busyness and stressful life of living in a city. Some more reasons why people might live longer in a certain area. Whenever I was reading about Balamoney, you notice there's twins with a town in Texas, America, called Benbrook, also Douglas in the Isle of Man, and Vanvis in France. So it's interesting, there's links with different parts of the world, France, the Isle of Man, and of course America. So there's links between towns, similarities, maybe they're built similar, connection with people. And that's, for me, like the Christian life. Brothers and people who become a Christian, they've become part of God's family, and they've got brothers and sisters all over the world, most of whom, believe it or not, you've never met, but you will meet, of course, in that great meeting day called Heaven. And I often think about the Bible, the big t city of Jerusalem, and the Bible talks about a new Jerusalem, and that's talking about heaven. So as people live in Jerusalem, but well, that was the place where the Lord Jesus came, and most of the Bible was written or based upon the city of Jerusalem and branching out, and I believe that's where Lord Jesus will come back again. And that's the, but the new Jerusalem is heaven, where the Christian will live forever to be with God. Whenever I thought about Balamoni, there's lots of people who have come from Balamoni. Jimmy Young was a famous comedian from Northern Ireland coming from Balamoney. You might know the motorbike riders Joey Dunlop and Robert Dunlop two brothers, of course famously being world champions for many many years. Alan Archibald also came from Balamoney, a motorbike racer. Stephen Carson was a former Northern Ireland under 21 international footballer who played for Coleraine and also for Northern Ireland. 
Rowing is very common in Coleraine, so rowers and Peter Chambers was would come from this area. Bridget McKeever was a former Ireland World's Field Hockey International. Jim Plant, uh, Northern Ireland goalkeeper, uh, way back from 1952 on. Damien Quinn, the captain of the Antrim Senior Hurling Team. So as you walk through the town of Ballamoney, you'll see lovely signs and lovely shops and there's schools and lots for people to do. But Ballamoney has also got a strong Christian heritage with lots of churches and lots of people who love God, love the Lord. You'll also see Christian signs like Beulah Park. In the Bible it talks about Beulah land and it, the word Beulah means married. It's also a lovely, a, a lovely girl's name, Beulah. It means married, referring to Israel, been married to God. And one day God will come back. The Lord Jesus will return. And when he returns, he returns for his bride. Everyone who believes in God is married to the Lord Jesus. The groom and the bride, the bridegroom, the bride come together. It's a lovely picture of God reminding the people about Beulah, about being married, about connected with God forever. And that's what the Lord Jesus came to unite us to God, to reconcile us to God, to bring us back to God. So even the right word Beulah links me to the Bible and links me to God. And even you can find it here in the town of Balamani. There's a drama society in Ballymoney where people would learn to act and be dramatic. And it's the oldest in Ireland, believe it or not. If you travel all the towns and cities right across Ireland, the one here in Ballymoney is the oldest. So people in Ballymoney must like to act, must like to perform. And that makes me think about acting. For people to act, for people to become a performer, to become a professional, it would take a long time to act, a long time to practice and rehearse and, and, and put on voice, etc. And that's a uh, become very professional with hours and hours of practice but one thing about the Christian life it's not an act it's not a performance it's a real McCoy and we don't have to please people we don't have to be form in front of people and and get the yay or nay or the likes or the dislikes we just have to be real before God and even before whenever somebody puts on an act that's a difference whenever people put on an act it's not the real person they're performing they're acting they're doing a voiceover uh, to be the person who's trying to act but in the Christian life, God knows our heart, and we don't have to put on a voice, we don't have to put on a face, we don't have to put on an act, because God knows that. In the Bible, it talks about religious leaders, and they were always often putting on an act, they were dressing very religiously, and they were speaking very properly, but whenever God looked at their heart, their hearts were empty, and they were not sincere, and quite often there was normal people, common people, humble people, and they would just look up to God and say, God, I'm just a sinner. Can you save me? Will you save me? I just want to be used by, by you. And they are the very prayers that God would hear because that came from the heart. It wasn't from an outward appearance to please people. And the Bible teaches us in life we're to please God, not please men. And we often fall into the trap of trying to please people. It's called peer pressure. We try to please people, try to please our friend to be accepted. And then whenever we're not accepted by friends or peers, then we feel rejected. And rejection is a terrible thing, but God works contrary to that. He never rejects anyone. He takes anyone who will come to him. And no matter what you look like, how you sound, God just takes you exactly as you are because he says, give me your heart. And that's what I love about it. Ball of Money not only has got a drama society, but also has a, a rural country market. It's also one of the oldest in all of Ireland. Every year, there would be a farmer's market with animals. The farmers would come from all over the country, especially around the point. The local people would come together and show off their sheep, their cattle, their pigs, whatever animal they wanted to show. And they could bring local fruit, local veg, or local homegrown products, or the local business would come together to support it. And I thought that's a great way for towns and communities to come together to support the local produce, promoting Northern Ireland, promoting local produce, and also just being thankful for creation. Because these are the very animals that God created so people can see them. Town children could come and see the animals they would often just see in the fields and they could buy the produce, they could buy the fruit, the vegetables or anything that's locally made or homegrown. And the Bible also talks about markets. That's where Paul and Peter and the disciples would often go. The market was a gathering of the people and they would go together to stand in the corner and preach the gospel, tell people about Jesus because not everyone was coming into the temple, they weren't coming to the synagogue or they weren't coming to the church. So God, the Lord Jesus says, go into all the 
the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go where the people are. So they would go to the market, mingle with the people, mingle with the animals, mingle, mingle with the sellers, mingle with the buyers, and tell them all about Jesus, the creator of the world, the saviour of the world, and try to persuade people how important it is to follow and to give their lives wholly unto God. Not only that, though, the Lord Jesus, people then would bring the market into the temple where they would sell and buy. And Jesus was so cross with them, he turned the tables upside down and said, this is a place for worship. It's not a place for buying and selling. So God was making a distinction between church and between the world. He said, there's one day in the week I want you to go to church and worship me and praise me and listen to my word being preached. Don't bring the world into the church. Don't bring your buying and selling into the church. I want you to come and think about me. That's what God says. One day in the week, he wants us to come together to worship him. And that's why Sunday's a day of rest. Sunday's a day we don't uh, go to work. It's a day you don't go to school because your body not only needs your rest, but God says, rest in me, rest on me. And by resting in him, we go to learn about him and think about him so that our thoughts can be in God. And that's not being selfish. That's why God made us. Animals can't worship God. Trees can't worship God. Towns can't worship God but people can worship God and that's why God made people to worship him so it's very selfish in many ways to go through life and not think about God not worship him and he says just give me one day in fact just one hour on a Sunday can you do at least that but the more you give to God the more you want to give him because there's a blessing in doing when you give to God and worship him and serve him then he, he, he makes your life a blessing and you'll just want more and more of God in your life so this is Bala money we're thought about taxes in America Douglas and Isle of Man and Van Vies in France, other towns, and they've got links here with Balamoney. What a lovely town. Really enjoyed the video today of Balamoney. Really, really interesting, lovely town. Let's say, finish with the song, I'm Trusting You. <laughs>
song, I'm trusting you, God, you are good. Thank you so much for watching today and enjoy the rest of your day.